uh, welcome colleagues and friends to our YouTube channel where we are presenting mathematics lessons. So in this presentation, which is a paid presentation and a channel of us, we are trying to see how we can apply the concepts that we learned in lesson one. So what we are going to do, I'll give you an example, but of course I'll just show the paper to you so that you're able to copy the, the working out to be done on the board. Okay, so that question is from a 2009 last paper, of course, paper one. Okay. Thank you so much. So I will use this one as a reference. So the question is, I'm sure you, you already have it. The diagram shows the velocity of a particle during a period of t seconds, which is this. Okay. The first question is saying calculate the acceleration of the particle in this 10 seconds. Okay. So this is the graph, the velocity uh, term of the particle. So we want to calculate the, the acceleration in the first 10 seconds. Right. So now, we are saying, what is acceleration? Acceleration is equal to uh, final velocity minus initial velocity over time. Now, so now, we are starting from here, from this point, okay, we come down, 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 up to this one, which is 10, 10 meters per second. So this is our initial velocity, and this is our final velocity. So what we are going to do is, we say acceleration is equal to, what is our final velocity, and we start from here, we are starting from this point, so from here, from means that that's a certain point. So that's our initial and our final velocity. So we're going to say final velocity is see, 10 meters per second. So we've got 10 minus our initial velocity is the divided by what is the time taken? The time taken frames is uh, 10. Alright? So now this will give us what? What is uh, 10 minus the 30? We get it at 20 divided by what? Um, 10. So our acceleration is equal to negative 2 meters per second squared. This is our acceleration. Why are the negative mean? Simply means that you know, say this is not acceleration, but this is iteration. That's a minimum value. Right? But if you are asked to compute iteration, the answer would have been positive 2 because you are already acknowledging that it's going downwards. Okay. I hope it's clear. Then we go to B, um, B reads, calculate the value of T, which you can see from here, alright? If it is 150 meters from the 20 seconds. So what we are saying is that let's find the value of B. If this particle traveled 50 meters from the 20 seconds, in other words, the distance of travel from here up to there is the 50 meters. If that's the case, then what is the, the value of t? Now, since we are talking about distance, apply the formula for finding the distance here. And what's the formula? Before we even think of a formula, we look at the, the shape. What kind of a shape do we have? It's a triangle. Then the area of the triangle is the distance. Alright? So we are going to say distance is equal to what's the formula for the area of the triangle from our first video, from our first lesson. We say half. Times base times what? Right. Now, we are saying from here up to here, that is our base. And then this is our what? Height. But what we know from the here is that the distance covered is 50 meters. So now what we are going to do here, friends, is to do substitution. This is the height, right? Get whatever done that you have. Substitute. Whatever we made, what we are looking for. Okay, so now, we are saying what is our distance? Is equal to half times. Right, here we have to be careful. Okay? What is our base? Our base is from 20 to 
to OT. But how do you get it? Here, yeah, it's very simple. If you want to find the different values between point uh, 10 and 20, you say 20 minus 10. Equally, for this one, the different values is between this and this, you say t minus this. So I'm going to say t minus 20. Times, what is our height from here up to there? Uh, which is what? From here up there. When we check the value here, the value is 10. So that is our height. Okay, so now, again, to make the job easy, you can say, okay, what is half of what? 10. So you have got 50 is equal to half of 10 is 5. So you have got t minus 20. We can, um, we can make we get the brackets. That's what? That's 5. Now, here you have to be patient. Look at what, what, what you are what supposed to do here. How do you manipulate it from here? You can take this value and this one. Since we are multiplying here, you can check if this is a factor of this number. If it is, then you divide by that. If it is not, then you distribute. Alright? And we are able to see that 5 is a factor of 50. Hence, we can divide both sides by what? By 5. Okay? So, 5 into 5 is 1, 5 into 5 is 1. 1 by t minus 20, here you have t minus what? 20. Okay? Then, what we have? 5 into, into 50 is what? 10. Alright? So now, what we are going to do, maybe I can rewrite this to say 10, t minus 20 is equal to what? Equal 10. So now, how do we work this one? Okay, so you add here, it's a GTP base, which is positive. So positive 20 here and positive 20 here. Alright? So you have 20. So when you add the positive 20 here, there will be zero. Then you add the other side. So we say 10 plus what? 20. Alright? Um, our value, our T now becomes what? 80. Alright? 80 seconds. Now, when you check here, you have 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 8. So, it's not that advice for you to say, okay, that's exactly it. No, no. The, the best approach is for you to always wait it out. So, we are saying T is what? 80. I hope it's okay. Good. Um, the average speed, this is similar to the question that we are dealing with. So we are saying average speed is equal to total distance covered everything divided by time taken to cover that distance. So now, in this case, what can we say? So, we are looking at this distance, this graph. So now, what we can do here is to demarcate into shapes that will easily give us the, the distance that we are looking for. So what we can do here, if you want to get it, okay, you have got one, two, three, four shapes. And that could be maybe involving or to take us a lot of time, maybe we can say we take this, this shape, this, and apply the formula for a the trapezium. Then again from here up to there a the trapezium. So that just have two formulas to apply. And I can apply one, two, three, four. Okay? So now we are going to say the distance here. So maybe say pass at A and part E. So for part A, we are saying distance is half times h times a plus b. We can change our relation number one where we are going to work the part to this things. So we have half times. What is our height? You can deal with this shape. No, it's very clear. You see that you have got this line and this line that are parallel. The line that will join them, which is down here, base here, will be your height. So from here up to there, that is our height. The, the two parallel lines will represent either A or B. You can just start 
depending on what they are dealing with. So if I'm dealing with this one, maybe I'll say this should be my A. Then if I'm dealing with this one, I'll say uh, that, would, uh, that could be B. Even in the context, even if you want to the it's fine. If you just say this is A and this B, it's okay, it's still okay. It still holds. So now we say, okay, our A will be 10, even from here to there, which is 10. Then our B will be from 0 to 10, to 8 minus 0. Then our height will be 10 minus 0, which is what? 10. So now we are saying, what is our height? 10. Open bracket. Our A is stellar, right? Plus, of course, here is a multiplication sign. Let me just repeat it. But in this one, we will leave it out. So we have 10 plus 30. Well, that's our B. So distance is equal to, alright? Here we can be easily confused. So what is half of 10? 5. Times 10 plus 30 is what? 40, friends. Okay, so here we can multiply. This by that, 0. This by that, what we get? 20 as well. So uh, for the first 10 seconds, the distance covered was 100. So we have 100. The inside unit for distance is meters. So we have 100 meters. Okay. Then for what? B, which is now from the 30th second to the 30th second here. Again, we are applying the same because this and that are the same. So we say distance is equal to half times h times a plus what? B. So this will be equal to half times uh, what is our height. Now, there is a difference. Here, this diagram or this shape was specific upwards, but in this case, it is a horizontal. So what is our height? Our height will be this. Because I have this line, it will be my A. Then from here up to there, it will be my, my B. Alright? In the line that we need, then is our height. So our height is 10. Our A will be this minus that, which is again 10. Good. Then our B will be the value here for T is what? 8. What is 8 minus 10? So here you have what? 8. That's what you have to Okay, so we are saying our height. Our height is ten. What is our a? Twenty minus ten, so it's ten plus. What is our b? Thirty minus c, ten, which is what? Twenty. So we write twenty. So our distance is equal to. Again, you can say what is half of who? ten? Five times. Multiply by uh, 10 plus 20, that is a what? A 8. Okay? So what is it by that? That's 15. Then you add a 0. So we have 150. Okay? So we are doing this to show that we will have challenges with the simple or ordinary multiplication. So that is our distance for those parts now. So from the distance, Is equal to what? The sum of these 200 plus 150. So, what is our total distance? Yes, friends? Okay. 350 meters is our distance. Now that we have our distance, we can proceed and get now the average speed. So, now how do we get the average speed? So we are saying average speed is equal to from that formula then total distance. What is our total distance? 3 what? 350. Divided by? So this is meters. Divided by? What's the time? Total time taken is 8. Okay, good. So here we can reduce or we divide by it. So we are going to say, of course you can say this is 0 and 0 can divide. So I have you have 35 over what? 3. To make your job easy. So now we are going to say, what is this in that? 3 into 3 is a 1, right? 
Okay. Then into into five. What do you get? Into five, we get a, a one. Remainder, remainder two. Uh, over, over three. Right? Okay, so that's right. So it's a big one. Over three. Okay, try to. Okay, so we have 11, 2 over 3 meters per second. This is our answer. So we are saying this into that is 1. Then um, this into 5 is 1. The remainder is 2 over 3 meters per second. I hope this is okay. Thank you for today. What? I hope it's clear. Okay, I hope it's clear. Okay, thank you.